Hello everybody, this is Pyra, and we are day three into early access for Dawn Trail, the newest Final Fantasy XIV expansion. And if you haven't seen many updates from me, update videos specifically, that is why. <laughs> I've been pretty hard in the MSQ and just kind of smelling the roses in the new expansion. So I have kind of taken a small break from my normal content and thrown in just kind of spoiler videos with uh, different clears and updates from the game as I can. Um, also, if you notice, I sound really congested right now. Unfortunately, day one of the new expansion, I came down with COVID, so I am battling that as we speak. Pretty okay for the most part, but of course, it just makes me sound a bit gross. <laughs> so I apologize for that in advance. But I wanted to do a quick update regarding uh, the newest Lodestone update that we got. And this is actually the first uh, letter that we've received on here that hints that we might get a hotfix. So we've had some issues, uh, not many issues actually, a pretty smooth Dawn Trail release I would say so far. Um, and we've had kind of a couple things fixed in game without hotfixes. But this is the first one that might warrant that. And the biggest issue here is an update regarding the Xbox version becoming unresponsive and other issues. I know I've had some people in my Discord community as well that have had Xbox specific issues, so it is good to see that they're addressing it. And now the first thing here is a letter, a little paragraph directly from Yoshi P. And he's saying, firstly, I would like to thank everyone who has been playing Dawn Trail since the start of Early Access. However, I would like to offer, offer my sincere apologies regarding the issues that we have identified and listed below. Please let me explain the status of the investigation behind their causes and the measures we plan to take to address them. Uh, so we'll just kind of sum up a little bit of each section. The first one I think is the biggest issue. It is for Xbox players and they're having an issue wherein the Xbox version becomes unresponsive when transitioning between areas. So the game client just becomes unresponsive when going to a different location. I know I've also heard people have issues going into a duty or an instance. Um, the only way to fix this issue requires a deployment of a patch update to update the client. So they're explaining here that they have to get rigorous checks by their QA team and other procedures before they can put a patch out. It's not just something that they can currently do right away. So it might take several days to address. Um, they're trying to expedite this patch, of course, because I know Xbox players have been having an incredibly hard time staying in the game and getting through content because of this severe um, issue with the Xbox version. Um, the likelihood of encountering memory fragmentation is reduced when playing on worlds with low populations. So that looks like it is probably part of the problem, if not a big chunk of the problem. Um, they are recommending Xbox players go to Dynamis Shadow or Oceana data centers if you are able to. Um, you might not get your FC buffs or access to your retainers on a different server or data center. However, if you want to play the game, if you want to get through the story, if you want to see all the new things Dawn Trail, or even if you're not at Dawn Trail yet and you just want to stay connected and not have these issues, those are going to be the data centers that you will have the best luck of playing the game and not having connectivity issues. Now, that is the biggest one. Another couple issues that they're having as well. Uh, the first is DSR, so Dragon Song's Reprise Ultimate, uh, the Minstrel's Ballad, Shinryu's Domain, and Delubrum Regine Savage. Uh, mechanics are starting to freeze and not function correctly. Weirdly enough that those three <laughs> are it. Um, but apparently it is bearing similarity to the issues involving bosses in Circus Tower Alliance Raid, which was, if you hadn't heard, kind of since the start of Dawn Trail, there were some issues with Circus Tower. They were able to resolve those without a hotfix. However, in order to guarantee stable and effective solutions, they would like to add this fix to these freezing mechanics in a client patch as well. And then <laughs> if you haven't heard of the displayed animations of certain characters having issues, one of the things that I've seen is on, on Twitter is the eat pizza emote. That was kind of like a, a collaboration emote. Uh, apparently 
Male All Ra's faces kind of imploded. <laughs> they imploded for a bit when using that emote. So I think there are just some like weird fixes like that. It even says right here, an issue that affects aspects of certain playable races during the execution of certain emotes and the scholar action seraphism. So for some reason, weird emote problems are happening. Uh, so they're, they're going to fine tune the graphics and try to fix this with the next uh, hot fixer patch, hopefully. And as I said, kind of right with this red text, uh, these issues are a high priority. They are currently being worked on and they're considering the release of a hot fix, which if you don't know how about hot fixes, the game will go down for a patch to fix certain issues. They try to, these usually happen a lot on the launch of a big expansion because things break, things happen. Um, however, they don't want to do these often if they can help it because it is downtime in the game. So now no one likes uh, these down periods to happen. However, it seems pretty likely that we are going to get a hot fix sometime this week. And of course that will give us a brief maintenance period. And this could be anywhere from hours, a couple hours to a whole day. I highly doubt it'll be a whole day, but we'll probably get at least a short period of time that a hot fix will be released. And so that is it for, I think, the most kind of current updates and issues with the game right now. Um, of course, now that I'm starting to wind down the MSQ in Dawn Trail, I will be probably finishing that up today. Um, I will have more regular news and updates as you will. So if you like news and updates for Final Fantasy XIV or anything Final Fantasy XIV, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. Um, and once the MSQ is done, I will be streaming and putting out a lot of content this week during my IRL work vacation. And for everything from casual content and all the way through Savage and Ultimate rating, come check me out. I'm live on Twitch mostly six days a week. And thanks for hanging out. We will see you in game. Bye.